Hello, I'm Dave. This is my son Bailey. This week I'm going to add a few video clips together of work that I'll be doing on my cars. Just little odd jobs, I don't have anything special to do. I will start today, I'm going to just clean the back brake calipers up and put a bit of fresh red paint on them. I painted them red previously. So this is my black Mondeo that I call Black Rat 2. And today I will be cleaning the back brake calipers up. You can see them in there. I have painted them red previously, They're going a bit rusty and scabby. So I will uh, attempt to do that today. I'll just quickly show the front ones, they still look okay. They still look nice and red. A bit, a bit of brake dust on there, but they look nice and red. I've got the um, standard size vented, drilled and grooved discs on the front, and I'm sure it's Mintex pads I have in here. So I will get some tools out. All right, so we've got some tools out. We've got the trolley jack. Axle stand, always use axle stands. It's just uh, dangerous just to use the jack. Um, a bar, my um, quick release gun, wire brush. Uh, this is the paint we'll be using. Autotech red brake caliper paint. I've only got a very little brush. I've got loads of brushes. I've only got a little brush at the moment. Um, some white spirit brake cleaner. I had already loosened the wheel nuts with the bar. So, come down here. Clean this up, some brake cleaner. See what happens, wire brush. All right, I'll get on with that and we'll be back in a bit. So we've put a couple of coats of the red brick caliper paint on there. That, that's exactly how I want it. If I was doing them for the first time, I would have took the caliper off and taken the caliper to bits. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is just to tidy it up and touch it up. But I've left it black in there on purpose. Um, the red is exactly where it was red before and how I want it. So it's just to tidy it up.
Now we're out to the passenger side, as I said, just to tidy it up. That's basically it, really. And again, on this side, the front one's already okay. It's okay for me, anyway. Nice and red, bit of brake does. And there's the passenger side with two coats. That's the same as the other side. Red where I want it red, red as it was before. Just to tidy it up. Um, I'll put the wheel back on and let the jack down now. Uh, whiz the wheels on with this and then I'll nip them up with the bar make sure they're tight I uh, gave my little brushes a clean straight away clean them with a bit of white spirits but what I find handy is if you're using some paint some paint like this that's designed to withstand the heat and a bit of durability and it, it dries quite quickly um, if, you, if your brush gets a bit gloopy, nail polish remover. So I, I give it a wash with the, the white spirits and maybe a little clean with that. Um, and they've, they've come up okay, and they're all right now. Um, these with the bar. I don't, I'm not one of these that does it with the windy gun, the whatever you want to call it. And um, I'm not one of those that just does it with that. I like to check that they're nipped up properly. I don't nip them up fully tightly with the gun, especially alloy wheels. Right. One, two, three, There we go, wheels back on, calipers look much better than they did before. Go around to the driver's side. Yes, uh, they both look the same to me, nice and fresh. Just go back around the other side again. with the sun. Yeah. So next on the Mondeo, as I'm just messing around doing little daft little jobs, we have this old tax disc holder and a old tax disc that I'm just going to put in the screen just for a bit of a laugh. It's what we used to have to do, we used to have to put the tax disc in the screen. The tax disc is January 06. My Mondeo is a 55 plate, but it was actually first registered on the road in January 6, so that's why I've chose this month for the tax disc. And there it is, sat in the Mondeo, under my Rat Bastard Crew stickers in the windscreen. Also, one of the jobs I do on my cars is I check the oil, water, washer fluid, brake fluid, power steering fluid, etc on a weekly basis just to keep on top of things and there's another car added to the mix when I do those 
which I've not spoke about in my videos yet, which is my wife Lindsay's Blue Fiesta. So we'll go and open the Mondeo bonnet and start doing these checks. So the bonnet's open now. That's more or less full, but I, I do just top it up more or less to the brim. Don't go right to the brim in winter in case it freezes, but saying that it shouldn't freeze because I do put plenty of screen wash in. I don't know if the camera will show you. I can see the maximum line for the coolant level is there, so that's okay this week. The power steering oil, before I started doing these videos, I actually flushed it out and changed it. There's oil in there. That's that's fine at the level I set it. Yeah, I changed it because it goes grey regularly in this car for some reason. Um, the brake fluid, yeah, we can see there. It's on the maximum mark. That's all good. And then, of course, I have to pull the dipstick out. I'll just go and get some uh, tissue, check the oil. I don't think the camera's showing it, but uh, the oil is on the maximum mark. Put the dipstick back in there. Top the washer fluid up. Just uh, while I'm speaking quickly now, this video will be on set on portrait. I've realised some of my videos are on portrait and some are on landscape. Um, because I'm new to this, it's all new to me, I am going to attempt after this video, the next video, I'm going to attempt to do them on landscape, so it shouldn't matter what device you watch them on, the picture shouldn't be just sat in the middle of the screen, it should fill the screen. And I'm also going to look into trying to make the voice part, maybe get a, a, a Bluetooth microphone or something, so maybe my voice is a bit better and don't have to turn the volume up fully. I've watched the uh, videos on my phone, I do everything on my phone, or Bailey's phone, and I watch them back on my phone and they seem okay. We uh, went on YouTube on the TV and, and that's when I actually noticed the difference in the sound quality and when I'm on portrait of a very thin video in the middle of the screen. And onto the Fiesta. And again, I've, I've just topped the screen wash up. We use the, the Kerma all season screen wash. Diluted with water, I buy the concentrate one and dilute it myself. With the power steering oil, which in the Fiesta, where I can get the cap off there, that's fine. See the maximum mark there. The brake fluid, it is just on the maximum mark. I don't know if the camera's picked that up, that's fine. The coolant tank, the maximum mark is there, that's fine. And again, because I'm holding the camera myself, I'll check the oil. Yes, as you can see, that's fine now. I just put a little bit of oil in here, not much at all. This does use oil a little bit. I suppose it depends on how I drive it. When I really boot it, it'll use a bit. And this is the oil I use, the Ultra AdTech, just from my local motor factors. And as I was saying earlier, this, this Fiesta does use a little bit of oil. It's possibly leaking out of the back corner of this rocker cover. I find them a bit hard. But they always seem to leak. I've uh, fitted new gaskets and I've done belt and braces, gasket and sealer. It does weep a little bit, so it's possibly coming from there. There possibly is a bit of valve stem oil seals. Um, there is a little bit of blue smoke on starter. So uh, possibly a bit of both, but I've only put I've only put equivalent of half a capful in, so probably just being a bit tedious, really. But I like to keep it to its maximum level, and I know there's plenty of oil in there. And onto the Fiesta, which I've not spoke about yet. This is Lindsay's blue Fiesta. I painted blue myself with um, graffiti paint. And then the bonnet and the roof of the matte black chart paint. So I'll open the bonnet on this, check the levels. This car does use oil. I think the rocker gasket definitely needs changing on this one. All right, as you can see, Lindsay's car's gone now. She had to shoot off to take my daughter Chloe to work. Yes, yeah, so I've checked the fluids in Lindsay's Blue Fiesta. 
uh, top the oil up from the minimum to the maximum mark it, it does use a lot of oil i'll have to look into that i do think the cam cover rocker cover whatever you call it gasket is leaking on that one and it does also burn oil it's uh 1.4 fiesta gear mark 6 it's done about 140 odd thousand miles um, i don't know if that's a bit high and the issues for the parts for it to burn a bit, a bit of oil um i know nowadays cars do a lot of thousands and thousands of miles and, and carry on running so possibly in the future maybe take the head off and do the valve stem oil seals on that car too okay so i've pulled the monday out of the way just going to do a little job on the fiesta i'm going to just wipe this window in this area here and i've got a sticker to fit i had a sticker on here previously we're going to fit a fat willies sir shack sticker i had one on previously that i removed and over here under the bottle of vinegar weighing it down so it doesn't blow away we have two Fat Willy Surf Shack stickers. Yes, yeah, so as I say, I did previously have a Fat Willy Surf Shack sticker on my Fiesta in this same area that I removed. I have attempted to refit another Fat Willy's sticker in this area. I've fitted a few stickers on my car, as you'll see in previous videos, I've shown some of the stickers. Normally I use a bit of soapy water out of my spray bottle and stick the sticker on and then with a credit card in a soft cloth squeeze you the bubbles out and that's how i stick them and they dry and stay on when i fitted my second fat weather surf shot sticker i did it this way and it wouldn't stick and it blew off in the uh, when we had that storm the um well, i didn't blow off as such but it peeled back and dirt got behind it it wasn't sticking so I've uh, been in touch with the Fat Willys Surf Shack and they suggested with this sticker I just dry stick it. So that's what we'll do today. And there it is, dry stuck. Hopefully with my OCD, that'll please me. I am very picky with my OCD. I need to just enjoy life and stop doing that. Look at the brightness of this sticker, those neon colours. They, they look a lot brighter than the previous one. But possibly the previous one had um, faded with the sun. They look really bright. So yeah, there's my Fat Willy sticker. The reason for me to have the Fat Willy Surf Shack sticker is I'm not a surfer at all. I don't like getting wet, I don't want to go in the sea. <laughs> Um, we used to fit these on our cars, loads of us used to have these Fat Willy stickers, so that's just the reason for this one for me. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah, so thumbs up, a big shout out to the Fat Willy Surf Shack. And the final job we're going to do on this video, we have some Marcus Hayes stickers. So onto the Fiesta, I'm going to stick the MH sticker across the sunstrip in this corner and I'm going to stick the Mark 1 Escort sticker here. So I'll get my soapy water, my credit card and a soft cloth and just clean the areas ready for the stickers. As you can see, it's beneficial to clean the area where you're going to stick the stickers so that they uh, apply properly. I only washed the car yesterday. It's very dusty here where I live. There's a lane I have to drive down to get onto the road and all the dust blows in onto my cars. So now I will apply the decals. So here on the front of the Fiesta, we have the red MH decal on top of the Sunstrip in the corner there. And along to the side, to the rear window, the small Marcus Hayes Mark 1 Escort sticker. So yeah, a big thumbs up to Marcus Hayes, big shout out to Marcus Hayes. I uh, follow all your videos on YouTube and to be honest, watching your videos is what got me into start trying to do a few videos myself. Nowhere near as good as you there. <laughs> 
and I'll uh, leave a screenshot of the website where I um, bought the stickers from. So as you can probably tell by now, the screenshot of Marcus Hayes website where I bought my stickers from didn't load onto this video very well. It kept cropping the top out where the web address would be that you would need to type into Google search. So you can go and have a look at Marcus Hayes merchandise yourself. So hopefully on the bottom of this part of the video, I will type in the name of the web address that you will then need to type into Google search if you would like to go over and take a look and buy some merchandise yourself. And finally on the Mondeo, I'm going to stick the MH Marcus Hayes sticker in the corner on top of this sunstrip. So I'll just quickly clean that, spray a bit of soapy water on, just wipe it off with a card in a soft cloth to make sure it's clean and then I'll apply the sticker. So as you can see I've applied the sticker, I've just got to peel this backing off and that's the job done. Right guys, so this is the end of this video, hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thumbs down if you didn't. From me and from Bailey, thank you.